it's we're live, live at Cinco Cinco de Mayo at the mortgage company. Mm -hmm. They're having a Cinco de Mayo party. Can you hear us? My mustache is falling off. <laughs> so today's topic. I don't have the clip. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Today's topic is what happens when you go under contract. I hope you guys can hear the mariachi band in the back. Um, so, when, that's so funny. <laughs> when an offer is presented, um, the seller has three choices. They can accept it as it's written, initial it and sign it, and then you're what's called under contract. They can reject it, say, nope, we're not accepting it, we're done with you. Or the third option is they can counter it. A counter offer is any change to the contract. If they don't like the price, if they don't like the closing date, if they don't want to give you the refrigerator and the washer and dryer. Anything they change on there by joining a line through um, voids the initial offer and becomes a new offer from them back to the buyer. And that's called a counter offer. Did I cover all that? Yeah. Um, what happens when it's countered? <coughs> um, so once uh, if an offer is countered by the seller, it's a new offer then back to the buyer. So now the buyer has the same three options. They can accept, right. reject, or counter again. And there's no limit to how many times you can counter. You can counter a hundred times back and forth. Um, so then after that, <laughs> that was really loud. You get Hold on, my mustache is falling off. <laughs> all right, all right, the mustache is done. Look at there's a piece of hair stuck to it. Oh, that was. Where can you put it on your bottle? Okay. Um. Yeah. So it's a new offer back to the buyer then. So the buyer has the same three options, um, and then hopefully you guys can come to terms on, on and get under contract after that. <laughs> okay, next question. Am I up? Yeah, you You're done minutes. already. That one was a short one. These didn't make a big mess like we were <coughs> Good. Okay, we'll dress the bottles later. <laughs> okay, so now that you're under contract, uh, what's the first thing the buyer, buyer does? There's actually three things they have to do almost right away. Uh, they have to check the important dates of their contract. If you're working with a castle gate agent, agent, they will send it to you. <laughs> um, I'm laughing because our videographer is also currently wearing a sombrero and making funny faces. But more about that another day. Um, okay, can you show your necklace? Yeah. Okay, so the first thing you do is know your deadlines because the agreement of sale is going to have some deadlines for the buyer. Uh, usually they've got five days to get their first deposit to, um, to the listing brokerage and they usually have seven days to uh, apply for their mortgage. Um, you want to call inspector, and call inspectors. You probably, as a buyer, uh, requested a home inspection and maybe some other. There's a short time frame to get those inspections done. Are there trumpets out there? I think so. Oh my gosh. This is the best Ask the Realtor show. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so inspections. Oh, and apply for your mortgage. You've got usually seven days from the time you go under contract to get that full mortgage application done. Okay. Okay, so that's what buyers have to do first. I'm going to read what sellers have to do first. Um, the first thing is you want to go over your closing costs. You want to know how much money you're going to make at closing. Um, your agent will be able to do that with you, <laughs> or for you, I should say. Um, the next thing you want to do is prepare for the inspections and the appraisal. Um, because people are going to be coming to your house, they're going to have to get, a, get into your house. Hopefully the realtor can help with that. What else do they have to prepare for for that? I can't take you seriously when you have this sombrero glued to your sunglasses. What's the question? To prepare for inspections and the appraisal. I don't know exactly oh. what sellers have to do okay. for that. You have to make sure that um, most of the important areas of your house are accessible. Like you don't want so much right. stuff in front of the bridge box. You don't want box. boxes blocking the water heater, furnace. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, you want to make sure all the utilities are on. You want to make sure there's propane for the gas lugs and the fireplace and there's oil in the tank. The um, inspector has to be able to turn everything on to make sure it's working. So just make sure you can get everything on. Right. That pretty much covers that, right? Yeah. And there's nothing. Same thing for the appraisal. They have to access most of the house. Right. Um, if you're in a homeowners association, you have to get um, a resale cert which is certain. Um, Easy for you to say. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I'm Louis Blades. We practice that. <laughs> 
Um, another thing to know is where you're going after the house sells. So I don't know. Some people. I don't think well, that. What does that mean? Where are you going? Oh, I don't think that. <laughs> um, we have seen um, sellers close on their house and buy another house in the same day. Yes, very um, stressful. But it's not. Yeah. They need more. It's double the stress. Yeah. Um, but if not, you want to make sure you have a place to go, whether it's living with family or renting for a while. Go. I'm done with you my question. It. Oh. <laughs> it's not working. <laughs> Look at it. Okay, try a different one. You got oh, it. it's a little dented. You got it done. Well, we'll do it at the end of the show. Okay. Okay, that's the last question. Oh my gosh, we're flying through these. I know. We're trying to get back to the party. Good excuse. There's a lot of food in there. <laughs> Courtney's always hungry. She's a foodie. <laughs> Just check her Facebook page. <laughs> Um, okay. Oh, by the way, we have vowed to never do a boring Ask a Realtor show again. Not that any of our others were. No. But we're going to mix up some fun with this. Okay. When is it safe to pack? Um, and, and we kind of said this as a joke, but that's heavy on the minds of buyers and sellers. There's, there's three phases of, of the process, and each one you get past, you're, you're closer to being more certain that the deal's going to go through. Why do her eyes keep going like that? I keep thinking I'm missing something. Okay. Can you... Oh. We hope you can hear what that. Are the I don't know. What okay. um, the first one... It'd be funny if they came in here. You should have told them to come in. Um, inspections, negotiations. So, when a buyer gets inspections, they can ask the seller to fix some things, and that, that, that uh, negotiation time can take it out. Are they moving? Oh, okay. I want them to come in. <laughs> um, okay, so once that gets negotiated, and you're past that, then you can start packing a little bit more. Yeah. Uh, the next thing is the appraisal, and as long as that comes in at the value of the, of the house, the sale price, then you're almost home free. Right. And then there's something called the mortgage commitment. That's usually two weeks before our settlement. And by that date, the bank has done the appraisal, verified the buyer's um, employment history, checked their credit. And by that date, the bank writes a letter that says, yes, we commit to giving them the mortgage on appraising date. And once you get that, you're probably 99.5% sure that, that the deal is going to go through. But, but sadly, a deal is not done until the ink is dry, as we said. Yeah. So, um, have a bad um, Almost always, closings occur when they're supposed to. Sometimes they get delayed a day or two. Right. So have a backup plan on that. Um, we're done already. I know, this was a quick one. But it was an important one, so. Yeah. Um, remember Castlegate, oh, I didn't bring a mouse That's right. Uh, Castlegate is offering discounts. Uh, to sellers who are first responders, pastors, or veterans, or active duty military. So give us a holler, we need more, more listings. Yeah. We also need more listings. Yeah. We're also expanding into the Lehigh Valley more and also down in Philly. So if you have friends looking in that area or selling in that area, call give us. us a call. We just, yeah, Elise isn't here, but she's our newest agent. Um, that's it. Is that it? Yeah, we're going to get back to the party. So, do you know how to say goodbye in Spanish? No. Adios. 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 Please, adios.